stage is yours. <laughs> Some of you may remember me as one of the first employees of FM World. It is my anniversary as well. It's actually 15 years now in June since I started working in FM World. And when we started, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and when we started, we didn't even have a website. When business partners wanted to register a new business partner, they had to fill out the paperwork and send it to us by post. If they wanted to see the tree, they had to personally come to the office and ask for the tree to be printed out. Do you remember, guys? Yes. <laughs> now, a lot has changed. Now, when people wake up, the first thing they do in the morning, they grab their phone and they check what has happened since last night when they put the phone down before going to bed. When you ask the children who they want to become when they grow up, they used to say, oh, I want to be a fireman or a doctor. But now they would say, I want to be an influencer or a blogger, or I want to have my own YouTube channel. So a lot has changed. And the same changes apply in network marketing. There has been a huge transition in network marketing industry in the last five years. People realize they don't have to travel 150 kilometers to visit one person to do the business presentation and then when they come back home, that person didn't even join the business. Now they can do the presentation from the comfort of their own home for one person, for two people, but even for 50 people at once. People habits have changed. Now everyone has a phone and we use the phone all day, every day. People use the phone to look for information, to order a taxi, to order a takeaway. But most importantly, they shop online. And this is a huge opportunity for you business partners to go online, present your product offer and show your business opportunity. We get a lot of questions from you business partners. I get a lot of questions. Anita, how you do it? How your business partners are doing it in the UK? Well, most our business partners build their business online, on social media. Even in the UK office, we notice that 95% of orders from business partners come from our online shop only around 4% from the call center and less than 1% the, from the distributor center in London. Can you imagine that 87% of people, when they go shopping online, they have no idea what they want to buy? They rely on recommendations and they search for what's new and what's popular. That's where you should go in and show your product offer. Together with my amazing partners, we will show you the basic tools and the basic information on how to start the business on social media using Facebook, mostly Facebook and Instagram. So there are four things you have to look at before you start your business on social media. If you want to use your social media profiles to build your FM business. The first thing you need to look is your profile picture. This is the first thing people look at when they go to your profile on Facebook or on Instagram. The first impression means a lot. So it cannot be your dog or a cat or your favorite cartoon character or your idol from a movie. It has to be you and your smiling face. It is said that smiling people look younger, healthier, but most importantly, more approachable. And if you use more than one social media platforms, it is recommended that you have one 
picture on the same picture on each social media platform because when you connect with people on Facebook and they want to find you on Instagram they will find you easier because they will know what profile picture you have on your Facebook profile the second thing you have to look at is your cover photo and the cover photo is the photo that attracts your audience attracts your target group Krzysztof Cybul was talking about his sons when they were building the business. 98% of people there were 20 year old boys, boys, guys, because that was their target group. Then when uh, his uh, wife started to build the business, new people were started to come to, to the business. So your cover photo should attract the people you would like to work with. If you are a mom, it would be easier for you to work with other moms, like Yulita does. Yulita works with mostly with women, with moms who want to change their lives and change the future of their children. If you are a guy who loves to work out, loves bodybuilding, maybe you attract other people who are like-minded, who have the same interest. It would be really awkward for moms to work with bodybuilders and also their husband wouldn't like that as well. So your cover photo shouldn't be a landscape or a picture from your wildest party. It should be a personality-based picture. As I said, if you love playing tennis, put a picture of you playing tennis with a motivational quote, and I'm sure people who will visit your profile Facebook profile would like to know more about you and where you should write something about you it's your bio in this example the bio is empty and it shouldn't be empty because when people go to your profile they want to read about you they want to know more about you but you shouldn't be saying too much about what you do just about yourself you want to leave that little bit of curiosity so when people read about you they want to know more and they will contact you or they will go to your newsfeed here are some examples of the bios from our business partners in the UK they write that they want to change people's lives they, they change people's lives and people who visit that profile they want to know more how they change people's lives if they want to know more they either contact you or they go to your newsfeed and again this is very important you scroll down your newsfeed back few months and see if you haven't been posting any negative posts or if you allow people to tag yourself in the post like here I was tagged in the dinner or at the GNF announcement check if you haven't be, been tagged into any negative posts because you don't want the situation where people go to your bio and read about you that you are a very positive person so they want to know more and they go to your newsfeed and the first thing they read is oh my god it's Monday again and it's raining so you complaining in your newsfeed so the person you wrote that you are that very positive person do not match the person from your newsfeed it's very okay to ask your closest friend to see if the person from your bio actually meets up match up with the person in your newsfeed so these are the four things that you need to prepare if you want to build your business on social media but what to do and what not to do I will ask my partner Amethyst Star Roy Strong our social media guru and he will tell you how to make social media working for you thank you thank you very much Nato <laughs> I've been involved in network marketing for many years. I built successfully using traditional offline methods. However, I'll be honest, I got stuck at one level. And had I continued to use those same methods, my business would surely have declined. Thankfully, 
at the right moment, I met my business partner, Yolita Habit. <laughs> she told me I needed to change the way I was doing things and make maximum use of social media. She was absolutely right. It has totally transformed our business. Today, I'm going to tell you how to get you can get Facebook working for you too. Don't worry, it's very simple to do. Do you remember when you could put a post on Facebook and all your friends would see it in their newsfeed? But now, with so many people posting on our, online each day, it's become congested with traffic. I'm going to tell you exactly the daily actions that you need to take in order to get Facebook seeing you as an active user whose post it should be showing to more people. But first, let's talk about what not to do. Don't post on your profile more than three times a day and leave at least three hours between your posts. Why? Because otherwise, Facebook doesn't know which of your posts to show. And don't too often share YouTube videos, news websites, or anything that takes people away from Facebook. It makes sense. Facebook wants to keep you on their website. And don't be lazy and just copy other people's posts. Vary it a bit so that Facebook sees it as an original post from you. The first thing we need to do is to warm up Facebook. And this is very easy to do using Messenger. You simply go online and you see who of your friends is online at that moment. And you send a quick message through to at least five of them. This is a superb way to actually get quick responses because you're messaging people who are actually online at that moment. So they're going to come back to you quickly. But it also shows Facebook you're active before you post on your wall. So you're waking up Facebook. Facebook Messenger and Instagram direct messages are super productive uses of your time and very powerful sponsoring tools. Yulita will guide you through step by step shortly on the best way to use the messages. But right now, many of you are probably wondering what you should be posting on your walls to attract people to come into your business. You need a show network marketing, it's fun, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One golden rule is never have a bad day online. I want you to imagine for a moment enough a fabulous person is about to join your team. They're going to sell loads of products and they're going to sponsor many people. But that very day, they go onto your profile and they see a negative post. They still join the business, but they join another team instead. How are you going to feel? Rubbish, right? So keep it positive. This slide shows how often each week you need to be doing, on your personal profile, different types of posts. For example, Facebook Lives three times a week. Engagement on live videos is much better than most other types of posts. Your friends get notifications when you go live, and even afterwards, they still get a recording of the live in their newsfeed. In your lives, you need to be sharing your journey, giving value. And yes, entertaining as well. You can even do sort of product demonstrations, do, it. do a makeup demonstration or do uh, drain cleaners, fantastic. People's videos have gone viral just doing the actual demonstration with the drain cleaner. You can also do lifestyle posts. Um, with lifestyle posts, it's very easy to do. It's, your it's time with your family, nights out with friends. Help is an interest, like I need to mention, tennis. Or it could even be shopping, like Kim Kardashian does sometimes on Instagram. But you need to be consistent with your posts, particularly with the video posts, and decide on the days and times each week you want to do live videos, and stick to those times as much as possible. It's a little bit like a soap opera. They stick to the same times each week. 
in order to build up the audience. And you want to be doing the same thing. You can do interactive posts. These should be fun posts that make your friends smile. You can ask questions. For example, what's the last thing you do before you go to bed at night? You're going to get some really funny answers to that one, believe me. <laughs> you can also do inspirational posts. This could be a motivational quote, but you need to share why that quote means something to you. Or perhaps it could be a team member's success story. We had a picture with you that, with that team member. And events like this are ideal when you take different pictures with different team members, because then that way you've got things ready to show when you're, when you're telling their story. But do make sure that any wording for the quote or for the story actually appears in the post itself. Just once a week, do a product post. This should be you and your customers' benefits of using our products. And customer testimonials are absolutely brilliant for this. When you do a business post, you should focus on the benefits that people get from joining FM and working with you. It could be one of our wonderful incentives. Or it could be an unboxing post. That is simply where you're showing the opening of a parcel that's just arrived. Do you know there's actually people on Instagram who actually make money just from doing unboxing posts? But I'll let you in on a little secret. Yeah? Do you want to hear a secret? Anita <laughs> is someone that loves to watch unboxing posts. She even, <laughs> this is strange, but she even <laughs> watches our business partners open up the parcels that they've received from the UK office. <laughs> Addiction. <laughs> so what else can you do? You need to aim to comment on at least 10 people's posts in the morning and 10 people's posts in the evening. But you need to vary the people's posts that you comment on. I see this mistake all the time. People comment on the same people's posts, and what happens? It's just those people who then really get to see their posts. And your goal should be to connect with more people and get a wider audience seeing your posts. These are your future business partners and your future customers. And remember to reply to, co reply to the comments that people put on your posts. Think of it offline for a moment. You've got someone standing in front of you and they ask you a question. Are you going to stand there going, <laughs> no, of course not. So you wouldn't do it offline, so it's rude, yeah? So don't do it online. Make sure you reply to comments. This is an example from one of Yulita's Facebook stories of her loving one of our new lipstick colors. Facebook stories are a visual way of sharing your thoughts and actions during the day. A sort of behind the scenes look, if you like but they do actually only last for 24 hours. So you need to plan your day and think about the place you're gonna be, the people you're gonna be seeing, and the, the pictures and videos you could put onto your story. You, you wanna do five, onto your story, you wanna do five pictures or short videos in addition to the free posts that you're actually doing onto your profile. Your leader's absolutely fantastic at this. Do follow her Instagram and obviously her Facebook stories as well to get a really good idea of the actual types of things that you want to add on to your stories and the types of st stories that you want to do. We believe that Facebook stories help to increase the number of people seeing your other posts and also generates a lot more friend requests. By adding to your story, you're not just showing Facebook that you're an active user but you're also showing Facebook that you're someone who, who uses its newer features. Facebook loves this, and it will help you too. So remember the daily actions you need to be taking. First, the warm-up, doing the messages, doing the posts, 
comment on other people's posts and add in to your story. My fabulous business partner, Yolita, will now tell you how to apply network marketing skills that you know from offline, online. Hi guys, hi everyone. Um, I have to say this, I am stinky, excited, to be here with you all today. I literally mean I'm stinking excited to be here. I've got a lot to share with you. We only have, we don't really have much time, but I will do my best to share with you what exactly I do on Messenger and on Instagram to attract our team members and how we exactly do it, all right? So have you learned anything today so far? Yes or yes? <laughs> yes, okay, great. Amazing speakers, huh? I mean, I absolutely enjoyed and loved it. Uh, uh, Christopher Christoph um, story and how he mentioned it. The business is a, a, all about relationship. Yes. So we do exactly the same thing, but we do it on social media. Before I do this, I would love to really shortly introduce myself. I went to UK 15 years ago. Today is 15. And Anita, 15 years ago, started working for FM. So it's a special number for us, all right? <laughs> I actually went to UK, as I said, I went to UK 15 years ago and I actually had to borrow money for a single bus ticket to be able to go there, yes, to be able to get there. And my English was so limited. I only knew a few words, okay? But I, I knew one thing, I wanted to change something and I wanted to have a better life. So I went to work, I worked really hard. I gave birth to two beautiful creatures. I graduate and I was like most people and I didn't like that. So over five years ago, I went to a presentation, a business presentation. And I joined the network marketing company and I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. This is like, I'm gonna change my life. Okay, and my friend, she said, it's a pyramid scheme. And she was terrified. She's like, oh my God, don't do this. I've made a decision. I said, I will make this work. And it wasn't just about trying. I made the decision, I will make this work on social media, like for real, okay? I was a mom of two, I had other family commitments, I had work, and I had no time. Like, I had no extra time. I know a lot of people, I know you hear from a lot of people like, I don't have time to do this. I didn't have time either, but I sacrificed my evenings. I needed to learn, and I learned from the best in our industry. So I show you how it looks like. No more, no more 45 minutes presentations. No more extra cost and no more commute. I show you my tools now. This is how I work. And you will need sofas if you like to do it online too. You will need a, a mobile phone and the internet, okay? Because you do need to build relationship on social media. And the pajamas. Having said that, I do dress up on daily basis, so the choice is yours, okay? We'll look into skills now, because having good tools and having the vision, it's not enough. You need to know how to do things. The skills are, I'm sure most of us, or all of us know the skills, but let me run through them, all right? Finding prospects and connecting. Inviting, presenting, follow up, closing, helping your new team members start right, and promoting events. So let's look into skill number one. How do we do that? How do you find your prospect on social media? In groups, suggested friends, and through hashtags, especially on Instagram, through hashtags. Okay, so what do you do? How do you talk? How do you connect? 
you need you really need to open up your heart and I don't ever I always said that I don't want anyone I work with girls mainly so I say I don't want you to be a spammy mummy I don't want you to send the same message to a hundred people and say hey I've got this business I've got this superb opportunity join my team you will love it no that's no building relationship and that's not connecting okay so what do I actually do or what you should be doing if you go into Facebook group and you see someone who is let's say moaning about traveling to work you can say things like hey you know I've got I've got a solution to your problem you know this is this is absolutely amazing opportunity I do these things I used to work commute as well and I can show you how you can get out of that but before you do that and before you say that you need to break the ice okay I often say hey you really need to break the ice so when you talk to the person they know you from comments like you got to go to the personal person profile you got to comment under person profile posts you got to love the profile picture you comment under the person post in the groups so they know who you are it's about building relationship so you can't just bombard the person with the opportunity without her knowing you or without you knowing her a little bit better think about the target group right now I need to mention it to you that the target group is super important you won't connect with everyone and you don't want to do this okay you need to have your target group so when you look for a person on social media you really need to know the person that you really want to connect with check the person bio check the person cover check the person wall if they are not your type and you don't want to be a business partner with don't even start okay I've got another example for you you can say things like hi Sue I noticed you are also a mom of two kids I thought it would be cool to connect how is things you won't send exactly the same message to everyone if you connect with with a mom you can say things like this if you see someone really being upset about commuting to work every day you will say hey I had the problem I connect with moms with little kids when they especially when they moan about their kids being really naughty what do I say my son is 11 now but when he was two and three he was a really he was a proper rascal he went through every single stage you can imagine so when I connect I say hey I know your pain I've been there my son was like this too so they connect with me emotionally and I connect with somebody else emotionally as well because other mom will understand mom yes when her kid is really naughty and your kid has been really naughty you've got something really common you've got something to talk about so that's a target group guys really is important when you think about this building a business online this is super important Anita said Christopher said when his kids joined the business again group of boys 20 years old that is the target group for you what do we do next guys once you connect once you find your prospects once you connect as I said you really got to open up up your heart if you just want to do it business on social media but you just want to do it and be a spammy mommy or a spammy daddy it's not gonna work for you I can tell you this right now but you can make it work if you look into these skills and you apply them all of them not only one all of them okay so skill number two is inviting I've mentioned it a little bit already inviting is where you actually invite person to look into your presentation I said at the beginning no more 45 minutes presentation our presentation is five minutes and it only focus on benefits they can have from joining we don't talk about the company how amazing the owner of the company is even though he's cool okay we don't say it things like that we don't say a lot about products we say about the benefits people can have from joining the business there are benefits not mine benefits or the company benefits huge different there guys so the business presentation needs to have the right information for the person the pain they might have and the solution you can give it to them
to that pain. Okay? You can, when you invite, you say things, hi, Sue. Just curious, would, it be, would you be open to check out some information on how to fire your boss? No worries if not, just thought I will ask. Okay, so this one is really good one for someone who doesn't really like to go to work. So when you see someone is moaning on Monday in the morning, you can connect, you can have a conversation, and you can use this wording for the invitation. Okay, another example. Hi, Sue, just curious, would, it be op would you be open to check out some information on how to afford family holidays? Super important, guys, huh? to be able to go on family holidays. For a lot of moms, it's a dream thing. Every year to go on family holidays. They save for a year to be able to take her kids uh, away for summer, okay? And again, don't worry if not. I thought I will ask. If they say no, that's great. If they say yes, that's great too. Okay, what you really should be worrying, it's about, and you're, you should be aiming for you to ask. Doesn't matter if they say yes or no. You should really be asking. This is it. The out, you don't need to worry about the outcomes. Okay, so if they say yes or maybe, you say things like, awesome. So I have something that can help you. If I, if, if I give you a link to a five minutes video, when would you be able to watch it? You ask them because you want them to tell you when they will be ready to do it. And what do you do? You set the follow up right now. If they say they can watch the presentation now, so you say, that's great. I send you the link and I come back to you in 10 minutes. This is what you do. Great, I send you the link at eight o'clock if they say they will be able to watch it at eight o'clock. Okay, and then you say, I inbox you 10 past eight, if that's okay with you. And you wait for them to tell you if that's okay with them. You want them to set the follow up. I tell you in a minute why. I would love you to tell me what did you like best. Why do you say that? Because you want them to be positive. You want them to look for these benefits. You want them to be fired up. You want them to be thinking, oh my gosh, this can help me with this. This can help you with this. This can help me with this. So when you go back to the person, 10 past eight, or after 10 minutes, you send the business presentation. You ask, Sue, tell me what did you like best? Can you see how this can help you out fire your boss? Sue, tell me what did you like best? Can you see how this can help you afford your family holidays? Can you see how this works? Can you see it is a system? And once you, you never investigate, but once you talk and connect with somebody and you open up your heart and you listen, you find things about people that you can later on use, not against them, but to be able to help them. Okay, it's not about you and the it's about the person who you are helping and who is joining you and who needs to put some trust in you so you can guide them through the process, okay? So this, this is closing, my favorite part. I absolutely love it. It's so short, it's not painful, guys. You just say to somebody, hey, do you like it? How do you feel? I'm so excited to be able to do this with you. I've got this project. <coughs> I've got this project. It's all ready, it's all set up. We've got a company that can take us from A to B. Let's go do it, okay? I'm so excited for you to do this with me. It can be short. Are you ready? Because then you need to sign the person in. So you then send the link to the registration. I can say I'm super proud. I started working in Polish market a month ago, and we have recruited 1,200 people on social media uh, through these skills. I'm really, really excited and proud of the new girls joining the team on social media, because this is what I'm going to teach them. It's over 1,200 people in last one month. That's a lot of closing, guys. And it really, really is simple. These five skills will help you to just 
have the number on your tree. Just a number. What do you need to do? You need to master two more skills to have the business partner, not a number on your tree. You won't make any money and you won't help someone else just from the person being on your tree. Two more skills and we are done. It really is simple. You need to help the new person start right. Okay, so what do you do? You book a Zoom. You use zoom.us, amazing platform. You can connect with your team like that for absolutely free of charge. You book as soon as you can a latte morning, a coffee latte is a meeting between you and the person, you and few new person in your team. And you talk about the basics. You help them understand what it is. Help them, sh you, you show them how it works, how they can log in into back office, how they can shop. If you've got a special offers, you show them where the offers are, okay? You add them to your team group. Team groups are groups on Facebook where everyone in your team has 24 hours support, access to support. It really is important. So you don't get the messages every minute. The group does the work. It's the com community that you create that supports each other 24 hours. If anyone needs anything, they can log in into Facebook, jump straight into that group. They can have the answer to the question. If no one else answer it, there is a lot of folders, clicks, yes, ready with most common questions. Their lives, they are uh, products testimonial, everything is there. So this is what you do. You add them to your team support. You, you need to make sure why you ask them why they join and what they want to achieve. That's really important because that will give you a lot of information on how to work with a person later on. And if they actually really just want to benefit our amazing product with 30% discount, or they really want to build a business. Super important, these two guys, to know the difference, okay, between, between just benefiting from uh, offers, discount, or really building the team. One more, promoting events. We connect, collaborate, build relationship every day on social media. We have Zooms, our team members, our leaders have Zooms on daily basis small zooms, bigger zooms, a crazy zoom with our mentors, like for over 500 people zooms. So what, why it's so important? Because once you collaborate online, then when you see each other at events like this, like our UK conference, you've got the power and energy. You cuddle, you kiss, you get crazy because you know each other from online, because you know about your, you, you, you know about each other a lot of things, you know the problems, the struggle, you know everything. And then you see, and then you hug, and then you build together. I'll show you something else, guys. On social media, you can be hunted, and I mean it. I get messages every day from people who want to join me. They don't even know the company I work with. I talk, I build relationship every day. I use a lot of stories on Instagram. I have a lot of messages every day. But before you apply the skills, nothing will happen. You need to know and you need to take the actions Roy told you today about. You need to master the skills on behind the scene. A lot of people ask me, what do you do behind the scene? So this is what you do behind the scene. You use Messenger like crazy. You connect with 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 people a day if you can. That's behind the scene. But in the long term, you get messages like this. People would like to work with you, but you need to open up. You need to be there. You need to show up. You need to build the trust so they can trust you they want to collaborate with you. They want to be part of what you are doing it. If you do that, they will come and they will join you. And my wish for you is to have to receive every day hundreds messages like this and help hundreds and thousands of people around the world build freedom.
because we have freedom. Thank you. We presented you the basic skills and the basic information on how to start your business online. It's very simple. You don't have to be scared. And if you haven't started, you can even start today. Do go on your Facebook profile and do a short live video and show what you actually do or where you hang out, who you hang out with. It's very easy to do. You just have to step it up. There is a book called I Dare You <laughs> by Fraser Brooks. A lot, of, a lot of people know Fraser. He is our online mentor, social media online mentor. He helped thousands of thousands of people and probably thanks to the UK, he's known um, among all business partners in Portugal and in Poland. It, was, it will be actually translated into Polish language very soon. And we have three books to hand out and we decided we will give them to our fellow speakers so they can pass the knowledge to their teams in their countries. Okay? I would like to thank every single business partner from the UK. I would like you all to stand up. Stand up, guys. Show yourselves. Yes, show, show up, UK, show UK, up. UK, 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 UK. You guys, your hard work and amazing dedication to this business helped us to create the, one of the biggest branches in the world. So thank you very much, guys. We would love to thank Anita, Anita, yes, <laughs> for the collaboration, for her vision. 15 years ago, she was working for FM and she brought the vision to UK, just like I brought my vision to UK <laughs> 15 years ago. She had nothing, but she also had nothing to lose. I had nothing and I had nothing to lose. I needed to have a better life. I wanted to have a better life. Look at these guys, what she has created for us and she's doing this with her heart and she collaborates with us. She thinks about all of us as a family members. She's there for us and she's just one amazing CEO. Thank you. Thank you. I've always believed <laughs> that Network Martin should be a partnership between the distributors and the company. And I talked in my presentation about you can show behind the scenes. But we often don't get to see behind the scenes in network marketing. In the UK, it's not just about ourselves as distributors and leaders, or even about Anita as CEO. There's a lot more that happens behind the scenes, which sometimes, we, I said we can't see because that's where it is. But there's three people here today who we'd also like to give a huge thank you to for all their dedication, hard work, and for sharing the same beliefs and mission that we've got. And that's not about the, the money. Yeah, the money's great and all that sort of thing. But it's seeing the difference it makes to people's lives. And what gets them up every single day and why they put so much effort in behind the scenes to make it all work you know, so well in the UK and for us and for Anita is because it's the success stories they hear from our team and from all the teams in the UK and the difference it's making to everybody from the moment they join all the way through up to getting the cars and everything else. So I'd like to give a massive thank you to Chris, Honorata and Hannah. Thank you so much, guys. So thank you, thank you guys for having us and see you online. online. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. With pleasure. Good morning. Uh, what do you think if I speak in Arabic? Do you like it? It would it would be like speaking uh, Chinese for me. Uh, let me let me just start to teach you some Arabic. Maybe uh, two words for for now, and next time I uh, some few words. Marhaba, it's hi. Marhaba, hi. 
Okay, and second one, everybody might know it, and you, you will use it. It is Habibi. It's honey. Habibi. Turn to your right, say Habibi to, to, the, to the person next to you, and to the left, to the person, person next to you again, Habibi. Okay, I need, I need uh, this one. And all of you, Habibi to me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, can you just the slideshow? Okay. So Lebanon is 30 times smaller than Poland. Just let me. So Lebanon is 30 times smaller than Poland. I mark it on the map by red. You see, it's very tiny country. We don't even have space to print the, the, uh, the name of Lebanon. They say Leb, you see? It's very, very tiny country with four million Lebanese and more than two million refugees between Syrians and Fal Palestinians. We are 44 million, 40% 40 of us 40% of us living below poverty line. Now, if you ask me how I make 3 million points per year, my answer would be, I don't know. Why? Because I made 12 million points. Do I need an applause or no? <laughs> among, among all com competitors in Lebanon, the famous one, the big ones, Proudly, but humbly, and with great appreciation, FM stand above all, them, all of them. Last March, we had 27 per, seven Amarans, one gold, and three diamonds. Again, there is... I, I feel I feel like we need a break of dance, <laughs> but but I'm not good in dancing anyway. So our situation in Lebanon logically doesn't allow us to make money. Very small. The economy is bad. Too many refugees destroying the background, the, the infrastructure of the comp uh, of the country. Everything is bad. Logically, we cannot make money. But I decided to make it. And as you saw, I made it big. I can imagine that you have a lot of questions, a lot, a lot of how. How we are achieving that? How we made this? How, 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 how? I can tell you how only if you can keep my secret. Can you keep it? This is me, not formal. The most important secret is, is that I am working with the best women on earth, an army of wonder women. I would like the Lebanese stand up. You are full I would like to see them on stage, on uh, by camera, cameraman. No, probably not. The other equally important secrets are weekly meetings, growth strategy after sales service and positive reinforcement. Women, from the beginning, I decided to target women and I decided to build the business, the business partners from this sect of the people, from women. Why not? And when, when you know that 60% of them are not working, why not? if you know that 90% of the product of FM are made for them, so they can use it every day. They can decide it to, to buy it. This is why now we have 99.9% .9 of our sales force are from women. Maybe I'm lucky, maybe no, but you can see my number. They became, this is very important, the living showcase of FM. Look at you, gorgeous ladies. 
everyone is a show, every one of you is a show, uh, showcase for FM. Face to face meetings are very important. Meetings, we have 55 meetings across Lebanon, weekly meetings. We see a lot of people, tons of business partners every week. We do a lot of hands-on product training, and we focus mainly on three questions. What is this product? Who can use it? And how to use it? I will tell you a little story about ignorance and knowledge. A woman bought one day a caviar cream. After using it, she put it on the fridge because it was too hot in Lebanon. At, at the same day, her husband came from work. He opened the fridge, took the caviar, thinking like, you know, caviar, take some bread, spread the caviar, and ate it. Instead of spending his night in bedroom, he spent it in the toilet. This is ignorance. This is why some people are not happy when they use our product, because they don't know what is this product and how to use it. We do also in these meetings training, a sales training. We share experiences, we motivate, we recognize, and we launch promotion. An example of our meeting, but this one is very formal. It's not every week, but I like to show you. Thank you, thank you. No one knows everybody, everyone, but through someone, everyone can reach anyone. I confuse you, I will repeat. No one knows everyone, but through someone, everyone can reach anyone. I'll tell you a story. 20 years ago, a direct selling company appointed me to open a branch in, in Cairo. And all the time I was thinking, I'm going to Cairo, which has at that time 26 million people in one city. But from the 26 million people, I only know one person. One person. So I was like the, this drop of water poured in a calm pool. Luckily, I learned from my early stage at work the most or the strongest question for growth. Who do you know? I used to ask every person I meet, who do you know? Write the name, write the telephone number. After three and a half years, almost three and a half years working in Cairo, I left the country back to Lebanon with more than 9,000 people in the system. That, that was from just one, que one question and training my people. And this is what we are doing in Lebanon. We have more than 53,000 people enrolled in the system in Lebanon. Uh, we are behind our products. We take any problem seriously. This is one of the things that made FM Lebanon really superior to all, to all brands in that country. We solve the problem to the best interest of the customers. We replace a lot of products, and that's very normal. Everybody can do that. But nobody can take anyone or any 
unhappy customers to the doctor, dermatologist, because of some mistakes, it happened. But we were up to our words. We took them. We even visited some unhappy customer in their house just to make things work well. And these customers became like flag for, for, for FM and like flag for, for the business in Lebanon. They were very loyal. They are still very loyal for us. Not many brands, maybe here, I don't know, maybe in any, any country, but I would say about, about Lebanon, not many brands have the guts to do that. Proudly, FM stands above all of them. We speak we speak proudly about how FM is changing lives from negative to positive. We are proud that with us, people are making more money. They are recognized more, they are traveling more, and they are having company cars. FM became our lifestyle. We, we preach it and we live it. We are the best products of our products. My sales force are trained to use... This is always falling down. I don't know why. My sales force are trained to use our products, or most of them, what is good for them, before selling it. They cannot sell a product and use something else. This, and I say it from, all my, from the bottom of my heart, this will destroy your reputation. I'm trying to sell you a mascara, and when you open your purse, you have something else, this is very bad. Nobody will trust you, no, nobody will believe in you, and this is not allowed in my country. Please, to make sure of that, have a look at my Lebanese group now and visit or visit their homes anytime and experience what I'm, I am saying. They live from FM, they live for FM, and this is why we all are the showcase of the company. company. This is the best promotion, the best advertisement, the best of the best. Finally, oh, before I would like to tell you my, my dream, I have a dream. And my dream, uh, you remember uh, Martin Luther King, I have a dream. My dream, I call it FM in every home. Speaking about home, I remember this, FM in every home. This is a dream, I will put it on paper and discuss it with Marek. And what I can imagine that if this come to reality, many people, most of the people are in this room, they will make more money than what they are making today. And many of them will be recognized internationally. Are you happy with this announcement or no? You don't, you don't let me feel that. It's, it's my dream to make lives better. It's my dream to make everyone's income better, not only the Lebanese. This is, this is the most, the best feelings I have ever. Finally, we trust FM, we trust the system, we show all this, we post it, we share it, and we build around it. This is, these are the secrets of our success in Lebanon. This is what worked in Lebanon. I am proud of my heroes. I am proud of their success. We are working together to reach the two million points per month by the end of this year, 2019. They are, this is a challenge for them, I will not look at them. They are working to surround me with many stars next year. Thank you all for being here. Congratulations also for everyone, for the success of everyone. Thank you so much. God bless you and bless FM.
afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Where is this? Oh. Today I'm here with you to tell you how we grow 1,400% over the last three years. Huge growth. But before I start, I want to tell you something. Something that I promised my wife exactly three years ago when we were in a conversation and I told her, let's keep calm. Because one day I will go to that stage and I will tell that story to the people. And here I am today. Who was on the first GNF and listened to my speech? Woo! That's great. You remember, five tips to deal with toxic situations. Yes? Cucaracha speech. And now I have two cucarachas at home. You remember I teach you the word obrigado. You do remember that? Great. But now tell me honestly, do you felt any kind of mm, negativity, bad energy, some kind of darkness from me that day? Do you felt that? I don't think you do. Because in fact, I received a lot of feedbacks and it was amazing. And even today, people come to me and they ask for my little cucarachas. And they say, Luis, obrigado for the inspiration. And they still remember some of those five tips to deal with toxic situations. But you have to know something. You have to know that that month, that exactly month, June 2016 was the worst month of my business. 2014, I achieved diamond with 1.3 million points. Dropping down until that month, I was with 192,000 points in pearl. I come to that stage, dropping down from diamond to pearl from 1.3 million points to 192,000 points. Can you imagine? That was not an easy process. But today I want to teach you a new Portuguese word. It's a very small word, but with a tremendous power. It's a word with four letters. And more than a word, it's a trick. A trick that I use since the first day of my business and that I use even more when I was at the bottom of my business. A M O R. Amor. What does it mean, amor? Yes, love. <laughs> love. So guys, love is the trick. Make love. <laughs> <laughs> no, not like that. <laughs> okay. okay, you should make love a lot, but <laughs> more than make love, we should practice love because when we love we forgive when we love we take care when we love we believe in a brighter future so love love the company love the products 
Love the marketing plan. Love to help the people. And please, please, love yourself. Because when we love ourselves, we will never stop dreaming with a brighter future. And this is the main reason that I'm here today with you, flying from the bottom pearl with 192,000 points to a Jasper star with 3 million points. Thank you. So let's see what we do. Yes, we. Because as you can imagine, nobody can do nothing alone. So first, we understand MLM. MLM is 20%, it's a system. But 80% it's positive vibes. And this is exactly what we found with Fit6. For some people that watch us from the outside, you see on Fit6 just a product. But for us, it's an amazing vibe generator. For someone that watch us from the outside, you see just a program, a weight loss program. But for us, it's the most powerful tool that we have ever used. And you know why? Because it beats the heart of the prospect. Fit6 brings joy to the people. Fit6 brings love to the people. And when we love, we take care. When we love, we dream again. So let's speak about the exact system that we use. This is it. We use Fit6 on us. We show the results to our friends and they will ask you, whoa, what have you done? <laughs> Guess what is missing? Your story. Guys, we don't sell a product. We sell stories. This is pure direct sales. We sell our stories. Of course that if you want, and I really recommend you, you should use internet. You should use social media. Because then you will be connected with all the world. And you can show your results and the results of other people. Of course. Nothing changes. Of course that you should add new people to your friends list every day and to your daily life. This is a people's business. Without people there is no business. So you have to know new people every single day. So you, should, you have to use that. For sure. Of course you need to have your own script to duplicate your business. Tomorrow you will have brand new people that will start and they don't know nothing about it. They don't know how to speak about the product, how to speak about the business, they don't know nothing. What do you want? To divide, to split yourself in 300 three person? No, you can't. So create a script. You have to add it. Of course you need to teach new people how to generate contacts and use that script. Most of the people fail in network marketing because they think that the world market is them market. It's not. I started this business with 26 years old, 10 years ago in FM. I was a kid. Guess what? My friends, who, they were kids. They're just kids with 26, okay? It's a different kind of play, but they are kids. They don't want this business. And when I started with my warm market, I quickly understand that I cannot do this business with them. So I go to internet and now I have a huge business only using internet. So teach new people to use that tool so you, they will not feel uncomfortable thinking that they will not have more contacts. This is for sure. 
Of course you'll need to follow up the people that are doing Fit6 because when people have results with Fit6, they will be open-minded for the business. They will trust you. They will trust the company. They will trust in all the words that you say. They will trust in everything. You don't need to defend the company. The results defend the company himself. Of course, you will need one-on-one -on -one meetings and bigger events. There is no business without relationships. When I say I don't have friends in FM, I don't have friends before of FM. But now, all my friends are in FM because I have a relationship with them. We eat a lot, we dinner a lot, we party a lot, we conversate a lot. We are always together. You need to do one-on-one -on -one meetings to unblock the people. Guys, nothing changed in the base. This is MLM, nothing changed. The best system that you will ever have is the one that you will create. So I gave you here the base. Now enjoy the process and create your own signature on it. Keep it simple, but create your own signature on it. Create something that you can feel 100% confident that will work. There is too many things that will make you fly. One is how much you love this company. And the other one is how much you believe in the power of Fit6 and in the power of your own system. We don't sell a product now. We don't. We don't sell Fit6. We don't sell diets. We don't sell supplements. We don't sell nothing like that. Nothing. We sell transformation. This is exactly what people want. People want transformation and we can do it. We transform people's life. Complete transformation. You will not even recognize those people. We have this power. I have this power and you have this power. FM have the power of transformation. Do you think it's too much? Ah, what Louis? Transformation. What kind of power do you have to say that? Ah, I do. And you do. Who wants to see life transformations here today, right now? Who wants to see? Please raise your hand. Who wants to see? Okay, so be ready for it. Because first, I want to call our business partner. 2016 was the moment of change. And Arthur told this guy, you are going to Portugal and open the branch there. So he was the first one that transformed his life for us. And I will always, we will always be thankful to him because of that. So in behalf of all business partners of FM World Portugal, I want to ask to this public to please stand up. And help me with a tremendous applause to call Mr. Yasek Tata. Ale ja wam opowiem, jak to było na początku. 